A can be approximated as a KO A over 2, so that omega now is going to be 2 eta root times 2 over KA, so that eta A K. Okay? The velocity now it's going to be the velocity is going to be omega over k <coughs> at k equal to zero, then it's going to be root eta a, and then that is f a over m. And uh, this is the uh, Coulombic force between the atoms, and a is the distance lateral distance and m is the mass, so that we are going to have a straight line. non dispersive system when the k value is very small. What does that mean, the k is small? k is small means k is 2 pi over lambda, the lambda is very large, right? What do they mean lambda is very large? The atoms is sitting here like this, and then the lambda is very large means all atoms are moving in the same directions. So that the lambda becomes infinity. Right? So all atoms are moving in the same directions so that the center of mass is going to be changed when the k is very small. And we call this acoustic wave. Why we call it the acoustic? It's nothing related to the sound. Nothing like that. But we just named it acoustic wave because the acoustic sound wave has a long wavelength, long wavelength compared to the optical wave. Okay, so when lambda is large, we just call that acoustic wave, and when lambda is very small, we just uh, call that optical wave, just like that. Nothing related to the light or sound, or something like that. We just call that. There is a name. Nothing but the name. All right. Now the next chapter is going to be the uh, uh, diatomic lattice. Okay. I just want to finish the diatomic lattice uh, sections before, before the end of this lecture. <clears throat>